Hi, welcome to Programming by Zod YouTube channel. In this HTML5 tutorial, we are going to use Local Storage API. Actually, there are two types of uh, storage in HTML5 API. First is Local Storage and the second one is Session Storage. Session Storage. Now, uh, in this lecture, we are going to cover up Local Storage. The Session Storage will be covered in next lecture. Now, what is local storage? Local storage is actually uh, stored the data inside a uh, client's system and it, sto uh, it uh, stays there permanently until the client himself uh, removes that data. Okay, so uh, let's quickly write out our stuff. This is basic skeleton HTML5 uh, local storage API. Okay make this document HTML5 and let's grab up our JavaScript code here okay. now I am going to write here a function named uh, demo in order to access the local storage API first of all we have to check out if the browser store uh, sports this HTML5 API so in order to do that we have to write type of storage check if type of storage is not set to undefined then what we have to do uh, store some data in our local storage okay now how we store it we are going ahead and storing it like uh, the uh, dictionary key value key to value to mean to say is key value pair like dictionary okay so uh, let's start it local storage dot set item this is our key and this is value key i am going to set bio and by this is programming by Zard YouTube channel. Welcome here. Okay, now we have to retrieve the data to check out either we have stored it successfully or not. So, uh, we are going to grab the data from here and pending it to this. ID of temp so right here uh, document dot get element by ID of temp and sets its inner HTML equal to local storage dot get item and the item is nothing but the key itself that is bio we have saved now it is going to change out the inner HTML of this ID to uh, this value of bio which we have stored locally inside the browser actually inside the client's browser and what to do if the browser does not support then simply prompt that sorry your browser In order to call this demo function we have to specify a button let's write a button on click call demo and click to see why okay i hope it should work fine let's test it in a browser open with firefox there it is click on it and by voila we have got whatever we have stored inside uh, our local storage now if we are going ahead if we want to remove this uh, item from you know local storage then how we are gonna do that uh, I have already set it and here I am going to say the ID 
data and remove it. Okay. Now, if there is uh, no bio, then it should be empty. Okay. So let's refresh our page and click to see bio. And you see there is nothing actually let's go ahead and delete only bio first of all we have to set it then we are going to set bio 2 and here we are going to write bio 2 okay now in temp there will be you know bio and bio 2's value if bio 2 value is set first we will see it and uh, if there is no bio value then we will see bio 2 sorry i received a call so uh, this is our idea that uh, bio if there is no bio's value then we will have bio 2's value and we are actually removing the value of bio here so now save it and refresh our page and see we have a first value oops this should be bio2 bio2 value is here okay refresh the page and again click now we can successfully see it and if we are going ahead and removing uh, you know bio 2's value then uh, it should be like this and we should have bio's value that is nothing but this one let's refresh again and click to see oops we have not seen any uh, info Oops, actually it is setting the bio to after uh, bio's value. Order, ordering problem. So keep it first. Okay, now refresh the page and click to see. Okay, there we got it. So this is how HTML5 local storage API works. Hope you guys have enjoyed learning it. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your community. Thanks for watching.